right, so welcome everyone to this ROV Q&A session about the Subtle Energy Meditation course. And we're going to begin with Stephen. Uh, Stephen and I just finished um, a, the 10 weeks of this course about 15 minutes ago with a group, and Stephen's going to begin with uh, sharing a little bit about that experience. So, Stephen. Thank you, Kevin. Yes, I, Kevin and I have just come from one of the most wonderful raising our vibration, subtle energy meditation groups, perhaps ever, uh, ever that we, with, with, I'm going to be sort of unable to express myself pro properly. So you can tell, obviously, that, that there's, a, with a good degree of emotion, I express this because we were, were privy to the whole group, every single person sharing with such emotion, such deep, deep, heartfelt sense of the common struggles that we all share as humanity, as human beings, is just, it touched right into the heart of that. It, everything that we can possibly face, but don't underestimate the power that those messages have to shift this inc incredible opportunity we have here in this lifetime to really you know, get to know each other and know this human con condition and help be f help each other be free. Anyway, mm. I've, I've run out of words, Kevin. I could probably go on for hours, but it was just a, a pristine, the, you know, beautiful, moving, compassionate, loving and kind uh, group. Yeah. I, thank you, Steve. Yeah. No, no, it was beautifully said. And and it was such a such a heartful experience. It really everyone's heart was so open and kind. And that's really this group here, this group gathered here, has been the foundation of that. Just this kindness and sharing and support for each other. And that's what we really um, thrive on on bringing to as many people as possible through this subtle energy meditation process in this course. And um, so this is a 10 week course. So we really do get to know um, people on the course and people really go deep in into themselves and have deep connections with each other and a deep connection with this life, this life force that we all share and a, a, a deep connection with this pure boundless awareness that we are. And so it's such a privilege to be able to facilitate that with Stephen and um, with all of you. And um, so I just want to give for people who aren't familiar with the course, I'm just going to give a brief overview. And then we're going to invite um, each of you on here if you want to, to just share some of your own experience with the, the Subtle Energy Meditation course. So it is a 10 week course. We meet once a week on Zoom, and we say for 90 minutes, but it's it's hard to keep it to 90 minutes. We usually go a little closer to two hours, so it's once a week for two hours over the course of 10 weeks. And there's an instructional book that is part of the course. You can follow along chapter by chapter, week by week. We have 10 different meditations that we share. Um, a different one each week and that we uh, give to you on mp3s that you can follow along with for your daily practice there's logs there's all kinds of different exercises for turning inward and really getting to know this mind body heart energy system that you are and feel your connection to everyone and everything and to the deeper ground of awareness that is who we are. And then we take you through seven different steps, progressive steps to help you deepen that experience and deepen that practice and make it um, really a powerful transforming part, not just in a meditation session, but in terms of transforming your life and your relationships. So we teach you how to prepare for a meditation session by preparing your your body, what you do to get your body ready, your environment, your intention, your why, 
really find what your why is for your practice and your why your why is in your life and then how to initiate a session with posture and conscious relaxation and generating positive energy and then we move on to developing concentration into absorption how do you do that how do you concentrate to the point where you just become that which you are focusing into and become fully absorbed and then use that to let go and transcend into a boundless timeless um, experience of pure awareness and then how to bring that back and return and ground that experience within your body so that you can take it with you so it's not separate from your life but that awareness flows into your life and how to use that awareness to reflect and gain insight on who you are and where you're going and and what you want to share with the world through the last step which is compassionate action so that's the process that we take you through and as Stephen just described it's so much more than a meditation course it's such a communion of of souls and uh, connection with the one life that we all share so we're so privileged to be able to share that and uh, so we'd like to just go around and allow um, each of you to share a little something of your experience about the course or some significant takeaway that you had through the course so holly we invite you to be first up Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Hello, everybody. Um, I want to reinforce first what Kevin just said, which was how much this is so much more than a meditation course. I um, took it about two years ago. Uh, it forever changed my life uh, in ways I could have never imagined. Um, and um, there are a lot of courses out there. There are a lot, there are a lot of offerings. Um, and this one, I just, I can't, I'm looking for the words to say how much it stands out above, you know, just a normal course that you might do for, you know, about $300. Like this is the, the community support that you're talking about, um, the very well thought out, path with the book um but more than anything i think the guides that that stephen and kevin are to be your personal guides in meditation to help you know kind of how, how this path works is um incredible because the wealth of experience that the two between the two of them have it's probably over 100 years maybe 120 years combined of meditation experience so that means that they can answer questions and guide you in with a really, really deep understanding of meditation and this awakening path. The course that, that I took was that, that you taught uh, in, in the community that, that the community of people that I encountered and met uh, was, was wonderful and, and truly life transforming and, and something that, uh, you know, that changed every part of how I live my life so you know and it's it's a non-sectarian approach to meditation so you bring your beliefs you know your religious views and your beliefs with this and this only enhances those beliefs it's not a this isn't an effort to try to change beliefs or but it's it's a way to teach you things about yourself and your relationship to the universe to others and, and just the sharing and the learning and uh, the ability of, of learning about subtle energy and the ways that we can change and shift the focus of our attention and our awareness you know, in our daily life it was invaluable to me. And so, you know, uh, it, it really was a amazing course and just the people in the course, you, Kevin and Stephen, Monica, Holly, you know, everyone, Bill, uh, Ebby, uh, our, our entire group, the, the first group was, you know, people that I still talk to frequently during the week and talk to every day online. And uh, so it's, it's just been, a, it's been an amazing thing. I have been on, on 
on this search to understand the, the meaning of life for many, many years. And, and I understand that all the traditions, they are nothing but different models to try to explain that. What I really liked about this uh, rough uh, cor uh, course is that it's a, a model that it's very easy to relate to because it's, la it's like made for our, uh, our way of living nowadays. So that was one of the first things that I really liked. And I really, I also like the thing that sometimes people talk about meditation, like a single action that you sit down and you make your practice. But in this model, you extend the, the, the practice to the preparation and to, and to the conclusion. And maybe for many people, those are not uh, as important as the main practice of sitting and meditating. But, but I have learned that they are as important as the meditation itself. Uh, this course that you you have here has been something I'm over 70 years old and much of my life I found things in my life that could not be explained and when we started this course two years ago I remember about the third oh, week that we had the course I said to the group that's here right now I said where have you people been all my life, I want to share what I experience in my life. So thank you very much. And maybe I'll just get a little personal here because there's a depth to this energy system that you uh, have expressed to us. And we've, we have all awoken to the fact that we are an energy system each one of us, and we move through life as that. 15 years ago, I had a problem, and it was because of my work, that I started losing balance on through my feet. The set, my nerves were dying in my feet. And because of, of the, the way that these meditations are set up, I started noticing after 15 years of having losing my balance in my feet, I started realizing the energy in the bottom of my feet, the nerves were starting to pick up. I could sense something. And over the two years, it's gradually got to the point, and this is really personal, I can step out of the shower and I can drive one foot and keep my balance, switch to the other foot and keep my balance. I have not done that for 15 years. And it was because of what you, taught us in this course, when you go down to feel the energy in the soles of our feet. I want to say how much I appreciate Stephen and Kevin um, and your guidance in the last two years and how much I appreciate the other members of this group that I've met, some of whom, well, all of whom have become dear friends, some of whom have become very special friends. And um, my why coming into this was very specific. Um, I suffered for a long time with um, anxiety issues and uh, obsessive, fearful thinking. And so I'd done meditation, I downloaded apps and I'd even I'd taken other courses and I understood intellectually what I was supposed to do. And I knew all the directions and I practiced and I tried and I still, I still suffered quite a bit. And some, something about this course over the course of the 10 weeks, it wasn't just that I intellectualized how to do subtle energy meditation. It was that I felt the subtle energy for the first time. I felt what spacious awareness is, not just what it means, but what it is. 
And I actually went into it for the first time ever. Stephen and Kevin are so complimentary given their unique gifts and skills and personalities. I think they really balance one another and they really offer so much to uh, make it such a whole, uh, a whole class. And, you know, um, my whole life, I've really had to work hard um, with uh, mental, uh, get emotional. Um, I'll try not to. <laughs> Um, yeah, with mental wellness and mental stability, and I've had to really uh, make it a focus to, um, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be mentally sound and healthy and a positive contributor to society. And that was like a, a really important thing for me growing up the way that I did with a lot of the mental um, struggles that I had. So I was committed to being, uh, mental health, I think is so important. And, um, so I did start meditating many, many years ago, but I've taken this class now a couple times. And even the second time I took it, I learned even more. And I thought, oh, I've got everything the first time, but then I took it again. And I was like, oh, how did I miss that? <laughs> There's so much to learn. And like Connie said, it's not just about thinking it, but about feeling it in the body and not being afraid to feel things, that it's safe to feel emotions and feelings and, and even see your thoughts crossing by. And, and there's nothing scary about it because it's not who we are. That's one of the main things I learned in this course that was profound. And I think honestly, it can save lives because um, I might be going out on a limb here, but um, I think that sometimes, at least in my experience, if we're not aware of that spacious awareness that we learn in ROV, this raising our vibration, this spatial awareness, the field that we're all connected to and that we're all one of, and that it is just filled with love, it's, we can get so, it can be so easy to get narrow-minded and just zoom in on these like Connie was talking about worries or anxieties or fears that I've had too. And they can just become like, you can think that they are your life. If you don't know anything else, you can think, oh my God, that's my life. That's my, that's what's happening. And, and ROV is giving me this wonderful gift um, of this um, spatial awareness. This is like living as awareness instead of living as say so-called Monica or or the past or even the future, it's giving me this awareness of, I could actually live as awareness and be, um, and let all these things come up in the ocean of a being. That's one of the meditations on the app too, is it's just giving me this fuller, broader um, understanding and felt sense of what this life is about and that it's so much more than me or any one thing or any one thought. And I just feel like um, it's profound. Uh, it's hard to put it into words, but it's it's just uh, it's a tool for life that I, I really think they should teach in schools, <laughs> and not just as an alternative thing, but like this is mandatory. And I, I really think it can help people realize what they really are. There's we're so much more than our thoughts and feelings and past and identities and even roles. And that's one of the things, many blessings that, one of the many that ROV has brought to me. And it's really helped me feel happier and safer. And like, you know, I even use it before I go to bed at night. If I have a worry on my mind, I'll just go out to the expanded awareness and say, that's so small, Monica, in this big perspective. So go to sleep now and everything's fine. And it's just incredible. It might sound like a little thing, but I use it and I'm able to fall asleep and I'm able to, my mind just puts everything in perspective or the space does, it's powerful. Yeah, and that's, I love the way you said that this is really for, for everyone. These are um, innate 
um, inner skills that we all have, but just haven't haven't been taught in school, right? We haven't been taught how to connect within and to observe our thoughts and our emotions and to feel deeply and to feel the connection and to concentrate into absorption and to let go and all these inner skills that are invaluable in our lives and in our relationships and they are for everyone and we present this course in a way that's completely experiential so you can experience it in your own language in your own belief system as randy said and um, make it your own so thank you all so much for being on and sharing your experience of the course Thank you, Stephen. It's such an honor to share this course and facilitate it with you. Thank you for our growing group of uh, teachers, co-teachers. Uh, Connie and Evie are in that group. And thank you all for watching, for your interest, and for your practice. So blessings and peace to all of you. Mm, thank you, truly. And thank you, Kevin. Thank you for the incredible opportunity. Every Every moment is a gem with you. So it, it really is an incredibly loving experience. So thank you for having opened my heart to that opportunity. And to all of you here, you know, you are really, yeah, priceless gems of wisdom for this planet. So I really bow humbly to each of you that's with us on this call, but also everybody listening, you know, come and join the family because we see the same thing in you.